Hello friends, I am Prabhjyoti, your occupational therapist and today I am going to cover another reflex which is fear paralysis reflex. This reflex is important for the birth of the child. So I'll explain more about it in the video but do like and share this video so that maximum parents benefit from it and do subscribe to the channel for more videos on child development. I have covered Moro's reflex before but Moro's reflex is preceded by the fear paralysis reflex. It allows the child to have this kind of protective freezing whenever there is a strong sensory stimulation. So in case of the baby, it could be sounds, it could be touch, it could be movement of the parent, of the mother. So all these reflexes lead to this kind of freezing. When the child is born, this changes into eventually Moro's reflex, which helps in the initial protecting of the child from all these external stimulations, which are way more now and eventually is integrated. But what if this initial fear paralysis reflex does not go away? Will it let the Moro's reflex to develop properly? Well, no. We associate Moro's reflex with a child who usually has hypersensitivities towards various stimulations from the environment. Exactly the same can happen in a child with retained fear paralysis reflex. But other than that, this child is more likely to have social anxiety. And the child may have selective mutism also, that the child voluntarily takes less effort to talk. This child will have more separation anxiety with the parents or any kind of comfort zone that the child makes in terms of transition from home. If they are used to a certain teacher and they've become comfortable with them at school, they would not want the change of that teacher or change of the classroom in which they are. So if you're working on your child with a retained morose reflex, you can think if fear paralysis reflex is also present, this child will have extra challenges in trying new activities and getting them to perform those activities, including their self-care tasks, might be a major challenge for parents. I hope this video was informative for you. If yes, do add in the comments below along with any queries or suggestions. Do like and share the video. Don't forget to subscribe the channel and ring the bell icon for notifications for regular videos on child development. And we'll meet again soon. Bye.